happy Valentine's Day. I can't believe you got me to agree to this, Mormo. I'm a little nervous. I've never been in bondage before. But I like these ropes. They're purple and shiny. I love being in your big bed. The soft sheets feel so good against my bare skin. How do you want me? I've seen a few videos, but I'm very new to this. But at the same time, it's so hot. For you to be totally in control of me like that, I won't be able to move at all. And you can have your way with me. You won't abuse that privilege, will you, Mormo? The rope tickles against my skin. You know my thighs are sensitive. What was that position called? A frog tie? My ankles are tied to my thighs, so I can't extend my legs. I can't walk. For sure. I couldn't run away even if I wanted to. But maybe I could crawl. But it wouldn't be very fast. I could crawl for you if you wanted, Mormo. Right to your feet, like a good little kitten. Oh, my arms too? Okay. Behind my back, so you have access to my tits, right? That way, you can lick and suck them. I love how you play with my nipples. Look how hard they are right now. Wow, that's pretty tight. I can't move my arms at all. They're stuck behind me, all folded together. I like how you tie my fingers, too. The rope feels so smooth and soothing, but at the same time, it's wickedly inescapable. All I can do is roll around. <laughs> I couldn't fight back, even if I wanted to. Mm, I love your hands on my legs, Mormo. Spreading me open like that. Can't you see how wet I am? These ropes are making me so horny. I'm all helplessly horny. And all I want is for you to rub my clit. Please. I'm aching for your touch. You're not done yet? Gonna make it so I can't roll around, huh? Oh, fuck. That's hot. That's so hot, Mormo. Now I can't shut my legs. Because you've tied my knees to the side to the bed. Every squirm and struggle makes my tits bounce and my pussy even wetter for you. You've got to play with my cut, Mormo. Please. I'm so desperately horny for you. And I can't masturbate, so you need to do it for me. Don't you want to feel how wet my cunt is? Feel it with your fingers. Or with your cock. Wait, what are you doing now? Come back, please. Don't leave me here. Marmo, come back. Kissing is something that one could talk about over and over again and never get bored. Nothing is better than a good kiss. Nothing makes the birds seem to sing louder, the grass seem greener than a great kiss. You've seen videos about kissing, but not really too much about method. You aren't born a good kisser. 
The only thing that will help you is education and practice. I'm sure glad there are things like kissing to practice in life. Life would have been boring if it was all geometry. Let's talk about different ways that you can kiss. Take some notes and practice on your man. He will love the new attention. First, there is the domination. We have all seen those World War II clips where the men coming back from battle and kissing their wives. This is a kiss with some power behind it. It can say many things. A kiss like this will knock him off his feet. Maybe you might use this kiss if you haven't seen him for a while. You might use this kiss if you are very horny and can't contain yourself anymore. We have all had those strong moments where we feel like we have to kiss someone. We need an outlet for all the sexual frustration that we are feeling. The great thing about a kiss is, it is easy and fast to do. You can get your sexual frustration out without having to take off your clothes. The element of surprise is what makes a man the hardest. This isn't a kissing technique per se, but you will get the drift. While you are kissing him, roam his body with your hands. Explore every area that you can. This will make him go crazy before you can even begin to think about what your next move is. I can't tell you enough how important this is. Before you give your man a kiss, make sure your breath smells okay. Don't go kissing him if you just ate a tuna on rye sandwich. If you are in doubt, go brush your teeth. Let's talk more about kissing and the do's and don'ts. The explore kiss. This is where you spend some time getting to know his mouth. This is a fun one from time to time. It shows that you are interested in him. You are learning new ways to excite him. This can be good for both of you. Good for you because you will learn new things that will turn him on. Great for him because he will think all the time you are spending on him is great. The peck before bed. You know you aren't getting laid when you get that little peck before Today's the day. We finally get to test out that new toy I bought you. It's so pretty, isn't it, Mormo? A woven red and black handle and long black strands of elk leather. I read it's supposed to be stingy, but I wanted it to give a good smack, so I bought a double. That's 18 strands of leather you're holding in your hand, and I want you to use it on my butt. Where should we start? In the kitchen? Bent over the table? Or on the couch, maybe? I guess we could start at the bedroom if you really wanted. Or over the banister upstairs? Yeah, let's do that one. Come on. Let's break out that purple rope again. It was so fun last time. And it'll keep me from running away while you fog my butt pink. Here, tie my ankles to the posts. And now I'll bend over the railing. Oh wow, it's a long way down. It's kind of scary looking down at the floor from this high up. And all the blood is rushing to my face too. Tie my hands too. I want to be totally at your mercy while you whip my thighs with that new toy. There, now I'm totally stuck. Let's see what that flogger can do, Mormo. Ugh, oh, it's a little stingy, but I like it. Hit me again. Yes, that's it. I love hearing the slapping noises as you punish my butt. All the thuds and slapping noises, it's wonderful music to my ears. Ah, uh, ow, that's really starting to hurt. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Okay, okay, enough, please. My ass is burning from the flogger. I bet you could fry an egg on each cheek. My skin is so hot. But my pussy is also just so wet. I'm so ready for you. Please, Mormel. Please. <laughs> Fuck me. There are many positive correlations between love, sex, and health. Being so, it has produced many questions. Have you wondered if an active sex life can truly alleviate pain? Do sexually active people have fewer colds and bouts of flu? Is it true that married people live longer than single or divorced people? Can an active sex life help prevent 
disease and illness by strengthening our immune system? I have these answers and more. Keep watching. An active sex life is both stimulating and rejuvenating to the glandular system. When we make love, the pituitary gland, the thyroid gland, the adrenal glands, the prostate and testes in men, and the ovaries in women are thoroughly exercised. The net result is that people in love look and feel better about themselves. Activation of the sex center in the brain has health effects on other brain centers. Every cell in the body gets this message and is strengthened by it. An active sex life strengthens our immune system. Scientists have compared the nerve endings of happy, loving, and sexually fulfilled people with unhappy and sexually unfulfilled people. Apparently, large numbers of immune system cells were gathered 